All right, 824. Let's get gardening. Gary from Phoenix Perennials is back. Awesome to see you. Yeah, fun. You brought the here. buffet of goodness I in front of us. the whole nursery. Uh, and we're going to talk science of uh, uh, how to get the perfect combination of plants in that garden or maybe on your patio. Uh, the science we need to consider going into uh, Yeah, so gardening. we're talking about plant combinations, and that's how to really take your garden to the next level. So there's the science of it, and there's the art of it. So first, the science. So all of the plants that we grow in our gardens actually come from somewhere in the world. So they come from different habitats in Japan or the United States or Canada or Europe and so they want certain conditions and a lot of gardeners are aware of this so we have plants that want sun and plants that want shade and we need to give them those conditions uh, in order for them to be successful so uh, this is an agave for instance which comes from desert areas so this is going to want hot dry sunny spots whereas this is a shady plant and this is going to want a shady rich moist soil and not to be in blazing sun all day so we want to give them those conditions and then in planting we want to choose other plants that also want those conditions as well so for this agave we're going to plant maybe a rock rose that comes from dry areas in the Mediterranean and maybe a yucca and for the shade plant we might combine it with ferns and shady grasses and then by combining plants that all want the same conditions that's just going to make it way easier for us so when you're watering you can water them the same you know you can give lots of water to these guys and less water to those guys and what's your rule of when is that the right time to water Especially when the kind of top heat. inch of soil dries out, that's the time to water. But okay. if the soil surface is still wet, you don't water. That's what to look out for. What's happening here? And then we've got the art of combining it all in a beautiful way. So we've talked about thrill, fill, and spill before. If you're in a containers, a thrilling vertical, a filling round thing, and a trailing uh, plant. But also if you're in a garden, then you have something high at the back, something mid-height in the middle, and something low at the front. So that's just kind of general, general guidelines. But then you need to think about foliage. And so foliage is what you need to plan for first because you have leaves all the time. Think of flowers as the icing on the cake and we'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, what about leaf shape? So we have all of these different plants in this row here with all these crazy, look at the curlies there, look at the, the fine little leaves, look at the, um, the, uh, the, the kind of round shamrock-like leaves or these big, bold, uh, these big bold cardoon leaves or artichoke leaves. So shape, uh, contrasting different shapes of leaves is really going to give you a wow effect. And the contrast of color is nice right here. Yeah, exactly. So you can talk about leaf color. So you can choose lots of different leaf colors, all the same shape of leaf, but you can choose all different colors of leaf. You can choose zany gold ones or more quieter and demure um, uh, burgundies. J just for time, I want to make sure we get yeah. the, the flower play in here of yeah. how you choose uh, the right color so we're not overdoing the garden and it is aesthetically pleasing. Right, okay. So before we go, just leaf uh, leaf size, choose different leaf sizes and leaf textures as well. Those okay. are really important. But also then in flowers, you can choose your different leaf colors. Uh, sorry, not leaf colors, but flower colors, uh, because that'll give you different effects. Also different flower sizes. So these are three different kinds of ornamental onions, but they all have ball-like ball, ball -like flowers, but they're all different sizes. So different sizes give you um, good contrast. Okay. And then totally different leaf, or sorry, so totally different flower shape. So in this row, you can see we've got calla lilies, we've got all kinds of lupins, we've got all kinds of different shapes, and put together, these shapes really contrast with each other and really make a dynamic effect. You've got the aesthetics covered, yeah. and I think we have time to sneak this in. Sound is a factor, too. So there's a bamboo that's going to blow in the wind, so adding sound to your garden with grasses or bamboos. Imagine uh, blowing in the wind, that's very relaxing, yeah. and also fragrance. So adding fragrance is another dimension to really taking the garden to the next level. Beautiful, just rich with, with aroma on this. Phoenix Perennials, that's where you find Gary and all of these great ideas. Thanks for coming by. This is the season. You must be busy. It is a busy time. All right, yeah. we'll, we'll take a break. More of your top news stories coming your way. Greg Harper will check in and give you the full update. Gary, thanks for coming by. Thank you.